Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Before we start, if you want to keep up to date with everything, make sure that you add me on Twitter at UnrealDman. Make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell option and make sure that notifications are on all the time because of YouTube really messing up recently. Also, to make sure that everything gets seen by everybody else so we get the message out there and spread these videos around, please consider leaving a like. I know it sounds like begging, but as... People know recently YouTube is really starting to go downhill again, and it's the only way I can get these videos out there to you guys so that they are seen. It sounds totally stupid. If you want to see more about this, go look at the Completionist's Twitter post, which I'm going to link in the description. He says more or less the exact same thing. So any support that I can get at the moment to get these videos out there to you guys to keep you notified on content in the future... Any help that I can get on that would be very much appreciated at the moment. Anyway, on with the video. So, this one I've called Gundam Battle Operation 2 vs. New Gundam Breaker. And under it, I've put a subtitle or a note that says, Also known as the failings of New Gundam Breaker and the potential of Gundam Battle Operation 2. Now, I'm going to hit some key points here. And I'm going to ask whether you guys agree with me at the end and what you think like normal. Just hear me out, right? So, New Gundam Breaker ultimately failed to gain support. This leaves the future of the Breaker series looking pretty grim, unfortunately, because it's still tied to the game's series in its name. The Japanese hate mob still absolutely cannot stand New Gundam Breaker, with it getting negative reviews all over the place, and with Western critics scoring it sometimes as low as 2.8 out of 10. It's not gained the love Bandai thought it would. This leaves the possible future of DLC content a faint hope for actual fans of the game, as they are very few in numbers. On Steam, the peak amount of players is currently 335 within the last 30 days, according to SteamCharts.com. Overall, the Breaker series has never had super high sales numbers, but when Breaker 3 sold more on the Vita than New Gundam Breaker, and New Gundam Breaker has never really gotten out of its sale problem since launch, still selling at places like Amazon for 81% off, that feels like a little bit of a kick in the teeth to say the least for Bandai. But this is where things change. Gundam Battle Operation 2 has been going strong. I've been covering it since launch, and as a lot of you know, it's got an English patch recently, which has attracted a lot more attention to the game. It's slowly getting more support, new suits, and new levels. And best of all, if you don't fall for the quick cash grabs that are loot boxes, which can be remedied easily by playing custom game nights with friends to get in-game currency easier, well, you're looking at a very decent game with a very slow-growing fan base for free with no strings attached. Honestly, if you compare the two, I'd like to think that support for GBO2 would prompt a Western release, but that's me being optimistic. At this point, because of loot boxes being controversial, this is the best thing the Gundam community can ask for, with it only being 10 minutes to set up a Google account for a Japanese game on PSN that you can play for free online without having to own PSN, Honestly, I don't think that's asking much. I get the feeling that all the support that New Gundam Breaker would have got will now go to GBO2 with it thriving more. And obviously, some people falling for loot boxes. It's going to make them more money in the long run. And for those who do not cash out like myself, we gain a lot more from it than we did if you attempted to play NGB and found that it wasn't your cup of tea. We keep getting free content more suits to play and that alone is great as it's continuous support from bandai that would have otherwise been given to ngb honestly i can see new gundam breaker dying out slowly now with hardly any support left for it and this is by no means me ripping on the people that actually enjoy it you obviously find something about it enjoyable but it's just not the money maker bandai thought it would be so i feel like we're going to slowly start seeing more support for gbo2 Either way, what do you guys think? The guys that play with GBO2 with me, do you think this is like the correct assumption to make at this point? Honestly, seeing the, the increase in people uh, watching things and getting involved within the past couple of days, I think this is where we're heading at the moment where NGB will die off now with the amount of sales it's got and the fact that not many people are playing it on Steam like they thought they would. The whole thing with Denuvo going down... Honestly, I don't think we can get much more out of that title. Anyway, GBO2 looks like the future. 
So full speed ahead. Here's to Bandai and making more free content for us to enjoy. New suits and everything else along the way. And to more custom game nights. Either way, leave your comments down below and let's see what we can get going in the chat in terms of a conversation. And like I said before, thank you for anybody else that's currently helping out keep the channel afloat. And also get these videos spread out a little bit more as it's always good sharing the news and seeing who else will join in on all this. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye!